you know, NASA plays an important role in national security. We don't do defense. We don't fight and win wars. That is not our, that is not our role. Our role, when we think about the elements of national power, uh, the national security community talks about dime, diplomatic power, information power, military power, economic power. NASA plays on the diplomatic side in a very robust way. Given the challenges that exist in space, um, it is necessary to have security. And that's why it is so important for NASA to, to work side by side with, with the Space Force. This time when we go to the moon, it's not, it's not just a technology demonstration. We are going sustainably to the moon to deliver science and exploration capabilities in a way that's never been done before. And we're going for the first time with a very diverse, um, highly qualified astronaut corps that includes women. <laughs> in Greek mythology, Artemis is the twin sister of Apollo. Um, and so I think this is a unique time in American history where we can go sustainably to the moon. I hope people take away that NASA, yes, we do science, exploration, discovery, we develop outer space, but, but I really hope people take away that we are an instrument of national power. It is soft power. It is diplomatic power. It's information power. It's economic power. But what we can't do is we can't do any of those things if space is not secure. And that's why it was important to create the Space Force. That's why it's important for NASA to partner with the Space Force on a lot of the things that, that we're going to partner on. And, and we're thrilled to have this memorandum, memorandum of understanding that, um, that uh, General Raymond and I just recently signed. And we're thrilled to highlight it here today at the Mitchell Institute.